had another one. And we have another one too. Good. Just don't want the data book to blow overboard. The River Institute is a uh, research center, it's an education center, it's an outreach center uh, on issues dealing with the St. Lawrence River and uh, other large river systems. I think one of our uh, greatest assets and what we do well is that we combine the research and the education and the outreach to be a unique community-based organization focused on the St. Lawrence River. Uh, we're very proud of uh, our building here. It's a 4,500 square foot uh, research center on the St. Lawrence River on the campus of St. Lawrence College in Cornwall. Um, we love to have uh, students come in from at all levels, high school students, uh, college students, university students come in and we're able to to provide them with uh, some unique experiences in the teaching environment in this laboratory. Then we have two labs that are more dedicated to our research um, that are and it's kind of also the services we provide, the technical services we provide through uh, uh, microbiology and through water testing. We have uh, another a laboratory that we call it the Outdoor Learning Lab and this nice covered canopy is a perfect spot for running outdoor programs and for doing research. Biodiversity in, in, um, in, in basic terms is, is quite simple. It's the total number of different kinds of organisms that we find in a particular area. There are very few rivers in the world as big as the St. Lawrence River, certainly North American rivers, and, and so it's a unique habitat, it's a unique ecosystem, and we have a number of species that um, we find in the St. Lawrence River that we don't find in, in most other places. Off the tributaries you have things like marshes and fens and bogs, and they have such a large variety of species. The most important thing about biodiversity is recognize that every small organism has a role to play in the environment and have services that they offer. Um, so many of the drugs we use to treat serious diseases, uh, many of the products we use to build the basic things we use every day come from wildlife. One of the biggest, um, biggest challenges is, is managing the needs of a growing human population with the needs of native biodiversity. Uh, the larger human population grows, um, the more land we take up, the more resources we take up. The, the biodiversity project um, came about for, uh, for a number of reasons. If we're trying to understand ecosystems and interactions among species, uh, the first thing we need to do is know which species are here. So the uh, St. Lawrence River Institute is partnered with the Raisin Region Conservation Authority and OPG, so Ontario Power Generation, and uh, we're starting a new initiative to document species uh, diversity within the St. Lawrence River watershed. And if you don't have a list of species that live in an ecosystem, it's really hard to predict the consequences of environmental change that humans sometimes cause um, on those ecosystems. This biodiversity project has a, a, a very important education component. Um, in fact, it's largely uh, an education program. We take a, a group of students, such as high school students or even the general public, uh, to go out and, and monitor these uh, specific sites, documenting all the species that we find and compiling them into a database. Um, so by regularly monitoring populations of, of, of species, um, you can um, um, better detect when declines are happening and then you can better react to determine whether those declines are natural population cycles or whether they're a sign of, of some human-induced problem so that we can undertake habitat restoration projects um, for species like that that are um, rare. Well, there is no question that, you know, in the big picture of the uh, environmental uh, issues, uh, we're just a small player. But nevertheless, you know, it's very regional. In other words, we do what we can here. You gotta have a hand in the front and a hand in the back so that you can't go in either direction. All right, so one, two, three, so right about there. Um, we often have classes coming here to the River Institute, and I think for teachers who want to explore biodiversity, there's no better way than, than to book a program here. We try as much as possible to involve students in real science. It's not made up experiments just for demonstration. Um, they're involved in the very research that I'm involved with. 
The best way to get people to care about something is to bring them in, in, into whatever environment you're working in and you know expose them to it and, and have them get wet and muddy and, and hold fish and you know count bugs and, and all that those, those types of things so because it's it's too abstract otherwise it's just something that they, they know is important but they haven't actually experienced for themselves. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. We have, as I said, a number of educators that are dedicated to um, working with our research scientists, but then translating it into activities that, um, whether it's school kids or whether it's uh, mature students, uh, whatever age they produce these education programs. Uh, but um, we also recognize that some schools are, are just too far away to participate in our programs. We're hoping to get out uh, interactive video workshops for schools that uh, no matter how far away they are, they can still um, participate. And um, as we develop this technology, we're hoping to have some opportunities to have teachers run their own programs at distant locations, but connect with us through modern technology, something like Skype, so that you can do a virtual program at the River Institute. Our hopes is that you will become um, just as passionate as, as we are about the importance of biodiversity and this incredible resource that we have been given this responsibility to restore, protect, and to just value. I think as, as a species um, ourselves that likes to consider ourselves the most enlightened species on the planet, I think we have a responsibility to maintain all of those species that have evolved here over millions and millions of years.